Hello friends, Sniz here, and today I'm going to be going over a bunch of crit sources as Codenox just recently put out an optimal inner ability video for the post arc update and it really stresses that you should be getting rid of the phantom in exchange for arc in a very optimal setup. Uh, so all topics on the screen will be touched on and this is currently, well this is only for reboot because I know there are other sources such as bonus potential and um, I don't know, I don't play I don't play regular servers so I don't have enough information to give you on it. So without further ado, we will move on to inner ability first. Moving forward with inner ability, I'm going to assume you have a legendary inner ability and with that, you should know that your second and third line are randomized between F uh, rare and unique and they also have a random value for whatever category they land, whatever bonus they land on, they have a range. As you can see on the table on screen, if I were to roll an epic second or third line crit rate, I could get anywhere between 5 to 10%. Unique would be 15 to 20. And since I'm always guaranteed a legendary line, if it were to be the bonus of crit rate, it'd be anywhere between 25 and 30. So with that mentioned about ranges, this is where the miracle circulators come into play. Miracle Circulators uh, do not guarantee unique lines, but they do guarantee you the highest value of whatever bonus you got, i.e. this is known as a prime line. So if you were to roll unique uh, crit rate with honor XP, since that's the only other way to roll your inner ability, while you do have the flexibility of locking your first and third line, um, or first line, or and leaving your two others blank, you do not have control over what value it is if you were lucky enough to roll crit crit rate and of the unique tier so you could somehow roll 17 percent crit rate with honor xp and you may need that three extra percent crit rate to comfortably reach 100 percent uh legendary ability will always give you a legendary line as mentioned before and optimally most classes are going to be using a 20 percent crit line uh and for the classes that don't need it, such as like Night Lord, uh, Nox's guide will detail what you should be using in place for your inner ability. I'm just here to give you all the inter information about crit sources, not how to do it. On the note of I cannot tell you how to attain 100% crit rate, it's because a standardized crit rate does not exist. The best way to get 100% crit rate is based on what you have available. So. Taking that and keeping that in mind, just know that you have a 5%, every character has a 5% crit rate from the beginning. And since not all classes are created equal, some classes will get much higher critical rate bonuses from their passives than others, such as Night Lord gaining a, wa gaining a whopping 50% crit rate, and Kana only gain gaining a mere 25% crit rate. Uh, so before you take into account the other sources of crit rate, Take into account your five, your base five, and whatever your passives give you before you start trying to figure out how to reach 100%. Although this is small, it should be mentioned. Nodes, well, specifically boost nodes, can give certain skills 5% crit rate. This is normally attained once the boosted skill has a total boost of level 20, and the boost will only apply to the skill as in it will not show up on your stat screen and it will only affect that one skill. So it's I can only say it would be, have very niche uses outside the 100% crit rate that you should already be aiming for. So one of the biggest sources of crit rate is your link skills due to how easily attainable they are, uh, minus Beast Tamer, since it's a randomly available class. Uh, but this is kind of where the discussion is, uh, where I find the discussion, since considering that optimal link skills are switching off of Phantom to use Arc in place, you will note that you're losing a good source of crit rate. But since there are other ways to attain 100% crit rate, you should be getting rid of Phantom, since you're exchanging it for raw damage. Both Phantom and Beast Tamer are links that go up to level 3, which means they have a level 1 link at 70, 2 at 120, and 3 at 210. Uh, 
Phantom will give you 10, 15, and 20, whereas Beast Tamer will give you 4, 7, and 10, and in addition, some boss damage and HP and MP. Uh, because Beast Tamer also gives you the added bonus of boss damage, it is going to be seen as more favorable to keep uh, next to Phantom. We're now making our way into the portion of the this, uh, I guess, resource uh, for players that have actually played multiple characters up to a certain point. Uh, simply put, this is a this is going to talk about Legion, and Legion does require a total level of 500 across your characters, meaning you should have you will have had to play the game a bit to even access these benefits. Um, Marksman and Night Lord are two classes that have a character bonus of giving crit rate. Uh, you can both you can have both a marksman and a night lord on the legion board and benefit from both, but you could not have two marksmen and get double the bonus from marksmen on your legion, but you should know that as this applies to every other uh, character card on legion. Uh, if you main one of these classes, uh, this is good to keep in mind because you should also add this to your original uh, passives before you start figuring out how to attain the rest of your crit rate uh, because it's basically just passive for you. Um, this means if you are meaning a Night Lord or Marksman, you can, you can, if you're going to be a long time player, you should be able to say that oh, I'm going to have an additional 5% crit rate for when I reach 250. This is another source of benefit, but it's more it's smaller for the amount of time it takes legion as mentioned before is way too massive to go over in a video just trying to cover sources of critical rate and really the, the big mention of it is that there is an area on the legion board that will give you critical rate and this is this area unlocks well the first portion of it unlocks when you reach a total level of 2000 in your legion each unit or square within this category gives you 1% crit rate, and you can gain an additional 40% from the Legion grid alone. This grid, the grid benefits also stack with the character benefits, i.e. your Night Lord and Marksman, if you were worried about if they conflicted. Hyperstat is something that becomes available to you once your character has reached level 140. Uh, Hyper Crit is a category you can put uh, your points into, and it has a max level of 10. The first five levels of the Hypercrit are worth 1% additional, whereas the last five are worth 2% each. So this totals to a total of 15% extra crit when you have a level 10 critical rate. Uh, most classes should and will utilize this to reach 100% crit, and if you somehow have nothing put into your Hypercrit, this is equal to a level 120 Phantom Link skill, or the level 2 Link skill for Phantom. This portion is going to cover sharp eyes and decent sharp eyes. Uh, this is the only source of crit rate that comes from an active or a buff. Uh, regular sharp eyes, which we'll be covering first, is available to most archers and is a party buff. It's stronger than the decent counterpart and should be noted that even with regular sharp eyes, archers should still aim to go over the 100% crit rate as it will improve uh, their damage overall with the new fifth job skill that they recently got. Uh, do note that you, sh if you're not a class that is given this skill, which means you're not an archer, you should not be relying on it to maintain a 100% crit rate I, when you're training alone, i.e. And even in bossing, you probably shouldn't rely on this. Uh, the decent version, on the other hand, has three sources, which are the nebulite, a potential line, and a node. The potential line is unique to your uh, gloves alone and this is a self buff instead it will not stack with sharp eyes and sharp eyes should override it since it's the stronger variant uh, so with that said this is the weaker version of sharp eyes and because this is a buff it gives you 10% additional whereas I think regular sharp eyes either gives you 15 or 20 most classes will aim for 20% crit rate flat and then use this 10% crit rate to achieve 100% crit rate total So this covers everything except for the fact of potential lines basically being useless. Don't do them. Yeah, just 
don't. I'm not. I didn't even think I was going to talk about potential lines because they're just so worthless. They're they only appear on your WSE, which is so much is used to configure for final damage overall. And there's optimizers all over the place for it. So you should be focusing on what, how much IED, boss damage, and attack percent you're going to be getting off of those instead of trying to use them for crit rate sources. But with all that said. Hopefully this gives you further knowledge on how you're going to obtain your 100% crit rate and this may be without or with using Phantom as a source. And be sure to check out Nox's optimal setup for your inner ability if you think you might not benefit from 20% crit rate. Because it's true, you may not. Uh, this is really just a counterpart to that video since I'm detailing how to cover for the Phantom Link skill that he is uh, recommending to exchange for the arc. And also keep in mind, even though optimal is optimal, it does not mean easily attainable. I'm just going to give you a brief example. Uh, as I am a Thunderbreaker main with a low base of 35% crit rate, there are many ways to attain that 100% crit. I'm currently using 30% crit uh, uh, from my legendary inner ability, 6% total from a Marksman and Nightlord, both at 140. I'm getting 4% from the Legion Grid, 10% uh, with Decent Sharp Eyes, and 15% with level 10 Hyperstat. For me, and most optimal setup, which this isn't possible for quite some time and I shouldn't even sweat over this because it's so ridiculous, I would have 35% base, I would have both a 250 Marksman and Nightlord to gain 5% crit rate from each for a total of 10, which would bring me to 45. I'd use a Beast Tamer Link level 3 for another 10%, which would bring me to 55. I'd use Hyperstat 10 uh, at level 10 for 15% extra, which would bring me to 70. I'd use 20% Inner Ability for 90, and then finally I would be using Decent Sharp Eyes to maintain 100% crit rate. This is what would be considered most optimal for my crit rate, but it's really I can easily sacrifice the 250 Marksman and Nightlord for a 200 variant of both, which will just require me to put two Legion spaces on my grid instead of using it elsewhere for other benefits. Basically, there's zero reason to sweat over this, and you should note that there are so many stepping stones towards your optimal setup that you shouldn't need to worry or sweat over it too much. 15% crit rate is a lot to lose right now, but there are numerous ways to make up for it. So with all that said, I'll see you later, friends. Bye.